<laughs> hello, hello. Happy Tipsy Tuesday. How are you doing today? My like bandana is kind of curling up. Yep, yep. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Looking a little bit better. How are you doing? What are you up to? How is the weather? Cause I don't like I'm I'm trying to channel some warm springtime beachy theme going on over here back here because it is sleeting and a lot of gross stuff is uh coming out of the sky right now. It's like 33 degrees outside. So yay, springtime in Virginia. Springtime for no, we're not gonna go there. <laughs> but if you know that show, comment below. Love it. So today I want to talk to you about some of my favorite, favorite wine accessories and wine accessories I think you should have uh, in your home. And I'm not talking the earrings, although if you do like them, I can tell you how to get them, all right? Um, but yeah, so did you know that, like, Easter is right around the corner, um, like April 1st, and it is currently March 20th? 21st? 20th? It's March 20th. Um, where is the time? Where is this year? Where is 2018 going? Like, it's just like whew, flying by. I don't know. It's going, it's going crazy. <laughs> it's kind of how I feel. Uh, so those of you who don't know me, I am Tierra, aka T, your professional wine diva, helping you feel comfortable and confident in your wine selections and your wine pairings and living a fun filled, wonderful life. So yeah, that's what I'm here for. And so today we're going to talk about wine accessories. All right. I'm going to adjust the camera just a little bit, a smidgen pigeon here. Um, that's one of the little phrases I used to say when I did photography with little ones. I'd be like, all right, turn your head just a smidgen pigeon. Um, yeah, because I'm weird like that. <laughs> so let's get to it. All right, so I have a couple of um, accessories that I think would also be great for when you were having your Easter dinner, if that is your thing or any kind of dinner or just having a dinner party and having friends over uh, for a nice presentation. And, you know, sometimes you have leftovers or whatever. So my first one I want to show you is a chrome stopper and I do not have a bottle of bubbly open right now uh, to kind of show you how it works but I do I love this it's great you can pop the corks uh, what I like to do is just like pop the cork as people are coming in because it's like it's always such a fun sound I don't know uh, it's like and you're like ah oh, everybody knows the party's getting started the vino's flowing the sparkling the bubbly's about to come around and it's great to pair well with cheese platters and appetizers so bubbly is just wonderful that way um so a little chrome stopper is great to go on top to keep the uh bubbles bubbly i don't know I, I don't know a better way to phrase it <laughs> uh but to keep the co2 basically in there to you know keep you're sparkling, actually sparkling. Uh, so that's my number one, the Chrome Stopper. Uh, number two for my red wine lovers, uh, decanters are great. I love, love, love them. But if you're like me, you might live in an apartment and decanters aren't like, you know, they take up some space. I, I'll be honest. I feel like they take up a, a pretty good amount of space and your cabinets aren't necessarily big enough to hold a decanter. So you have to put it somewhere like maybe out in the open and glass and crystal out in the open might not be a good idea, especially if you have pets or children or something like that. So I love this thing right here. Uh, it's a pouring decanter or an aerator. Uh, you just pop it into your red wine bottle and it's got a little like filtration system in there that will just pour, help with pouring um, the, it's nice to pour the wine, but it also helps put some air and oxidize your wine to open it up a little bit more. Although a decanter would do it better. This is just something great and it's small to have. You can have a bunch of them and just pop them into multiple wine bottles, especially if you're doing an event. Um, if you're going on a picnic, you can pack it. So it's just easy, small, great. So we have pouring decanter, we have chrome topper, stopper, topper. I'm not uh, I'm not sure on that one. And then finally, because we're talking, like I brought up Easter and, you know, we're talking like events and stuff like that. I have, this is kind of a two for one, these two little 
little things here. Um, wine charms or a glass writer pen. Either one, it serves the same purpose. That's why I'm doing two of them, but I love them both uh, for different reasons. So the wine charm is just really cute. Um, it's a cool way. You typically get them in packs of like four or five and they just go on the stem of your glass and it goes there and it's just a great way to identify whose glass is whose. So everyone can pick out which charm they want for the evening and put that on their glass. And th these, for those of you who are Harry Potter fans, um, they're snitch wings. Uh, so I have a set of Harry Potter themed wine charms because I'm a nerd like that. Don't judge my journey. Uh, and then I have a wine glass writer pen. So the thing about the charms are you have to have a stemmed glass to use these. Um, and wine glass writer pen can go on anything. So you just use it and you write on whatever it is, whatever you want. Some people like to, if they're artists, I've had seen some beautiful glass artwork done on their glasses and then other people will just write their name or whatever. I suggest putting it like on the bottom part of, if you have a stem, writing it on the little bottom part, that way your hand doesn't necessarily get on it um, and mess it up. If you have stemless, well then you can just write it whatever you're, just try to not take up the entire glass, put leave somewhere for your hand to go. Uh, but yeah, these are great. They wash off. I would suggest hand washing off the glass, the, the marker before putting it in like the dishwasher if that's something you want to do because I've had it like bake on to a glass before. So yeah, hand wash the whatever drawing name, whatever on it first and then put it in the dishwasher uh, for the final I don't know, coup d'etat of washing your glasses. So yeah, my top little, my top toppers, I got kind of are what they are. Uh, my top accessories for your wine parties and such, decanting, pouring decanter or aerator, chrome topper, and some sort of way to identify different people's glasses rather than having a whole bunch of random different glasses. If, especially if all your glasses match, this is the way to do it. So I hope you found this to be helpful. Uh, thank you for tuning in. If you caught the replay, definitely let me know that you're watching the replay. And if you got some value out of this or you know someone that would love this information, definitely tag them or share it on their page. All that great stuff. I hope you have a fabulous tipsy Tuesday. Stay warm out there for those of you who are in poor weather like I am. And I hope you have a stock of wine um, because we might be stuck inside tomorrow and for a while. Who knows? Cheers.